Hi guys, this is Stephen Gogoi, Technical Analyst of Allies Blue. So in this video, I'll discuss about Zinc. Now we can see Zinc, I think uh, after many days later, I'm creating Zinc, uh, I'm doing uh, Zinc analysis, right? So at that time, I placed some support and resistance and the support was around 178, right? 178, and there was a strong support, right? So I told, if they break this supporting line at the level of 183, so they are next targeting toward 178. So we have seen already hit that target. So uh, what is the trading strategy above this supporting area? So we never gonna take sell, right? Remember, once they break this supporting line, so definitely we will start selling from this area. So now question is that, can I go for buy again here? Right, so definitely we can go for buy above this supporting line. But remember some fact, before you enter for the buy, let me, let me show you weekly chart. In a weekly chart, there is a strong support out there, 200 moving average are placing support. And if you want to see the previous market behavior, price was bouncing from moving average 200, 200, and 200. And similarly, 200, price was bouncing. And it's a high probability to bounce again from this area. So that is why we are not going to take any sell, posi sorry, uh, sell position above, right? I'm talking about above. If they break this level, so definitely we will start selling because nobody uh, nobody uh, predict the uh, market like right so that is why this is a probability so if they break this supporting line so we will start selling now question is that above this supporting line can we buy right let me show you in a daily time frame again so now we have seen this is a small candle and the next candle high volume are there and they're trying to break this level but fail next day they form a doji candle or you can say like that hammer paper whatever you say so that means now seller are not controlling this market right some buyer are adding here right so let's check it next day dozy small candle now today smaller are forming in a daily time frame so that means according to candlestick behavior or pattern or shape by seeing this they are losing their momentum right they are losing their momentum if today sell momentum increase and they break the supporting line then will confirm that market will fall from this area they will break this area and we have to find out the next supporting line right so let's check it in a four hour time frame how look like that in a four hour time frame we ha we have seen now price is following moving average 20 bounce right moving average 20 and bounce back again now question is that can I go for sell again by seeing this moving average bounce back moving average bounce back the answer is no because right now price is above this strong support right weekly 200 moving average are there forming a support daily we have seen multiple rejection prices bouncing from this area bouncing so above that area we never gonna take sell instead of price running in a downtrend right most of the people are and even i also uh, like always um, recommend you that when price is in a downtrend start selling but remember when price is near supporting line we must stop selling remember and let's check it the according the candlestick pattern large bearish momentum candle and after that they are reducing their momentum reducing their momentum right so if they lose their momentum so high probability to reverse back right 
So if you want to enter the buy, what is our target? The target is our 183. Next target. Now, if price break, uh, sorry, if price not able to break, if it bounce that one, it will recognize as a double bottom, right? Or you can say like that W pattern. Right here we have seen double bottom, right? Price bounce, right? So similarly, here some people are start buying and some people are waiting here to break this neckline, right? Both are good. But here, if you want to enter here, so you always place your SL just below. Now let's check in a small time frame, like 15 minutes, how look like. Now in a small time frame, 15 minutes, it should look like that, all right? So now we have seen the price is running in a downturn similarly like 4 hour and creating lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high and high probability here. But I'm not interested to take sell position. I told you this is a strong, sorry, this is a strong support of forming the daily basis, weekly basis. I'm interested to sell if they break this supporting line, not now. For the buy, I'm looking for to break this level. All right. Uh, if they break this 200 moving average, so I'll go for buy because price is just rebouncing from this supporting line. That is why I I'll start buying in this level, and my target will be somewhere here. And some people are waiting to break this neckline. Right. All are good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.